group linear so this was the chart that we discussed on 14th october that nifty it breaks 19333 it is heading for 18525 to 18124 zones as this is the uh, fibonacci retracement when you point on these two points right so this is what we discussed so nifty has finally broken 19333 and almost 500 points down it is and in last session it gave a pullback so here we use elliott wave to look for the direction of the market and which way we are in and what could happen next then after that we use price action we do such analysis weekly if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe and in this video we'll talk about nifty for this week as well as for monday session what will happen we will discuss all those stuff right so let's get started first we'll discuss price action indicators and then we'll check the elliott wave so yeah in the price action and indicators let's start here you can see that we have multiple moving averages all i'm all i'm using them as emas which gives preference to recent price data instead of like sma which gives the uh, data like, like uh, preference to all the data right so i'm using emas so this is 13 ema blue line this uh, yellow line is 48 ema this white line is 100 ema and this uh, pink line is 200 ema apart from that we have rsi and aron so last week we talked uh, and we were here somewhere here and then boom this shifted higher right to extreme bearish zone red line shifted to higher after this candle i think let's just check so where it shifted so yeah here right after this day after this candle you should be sure that nifty was going to drop even it broken this swing i uh, swing low of 19333 then it started to crash and then it came to 200 ema right so yeah nifty is in full bearish mode with aron indicator suggesting that the bears have control so this is extreme bearish situation here it was extreme bullish situation right here you can see aron was trading uh, in a bullish mode with the green line trading above 75 and red line trading above uh, trading below 30 this was a bullish indication here it's opposite red line trading above 70 so it has 100 value max right 70 to 100 when red line goes and if green line goes from uh, 30 means below 30 to 0 then it's extreme bearish situation so around indicator is completely suggesting bearish market here you can see rsi is in oversold category by the way whenever it's oversold it usually indicates more severe uh, drop coming in so without i think without forming divergence even at least on hourly chart it will not go up so it might give some more consolidation as well but yeah this 200 ema has acted as a support so price could consolidate here do some time pass like this it can move in range and then it might come like this 100 ema and then we might crash on the downside so this is one of the way that it can happen uh okay and yeah that's all the price uh, action and even the indicators they are suggesting that there is a complete bearish market and if you see here uh if you see here on daily chart you see three red candles big green candles and then a gap of happened in the last session and we pulled back up the gap is not yet closed gap is uh at 19122 and the high that we made on that day is 19076 right so still now till now the nifty is still bearish uh do not consider it to be bullish unless it closes about 13 ema so it will consolidate and then give a breakout a breakout with a gap breaking 13 ema then it will start going up so for now it has taken sub 100 ema support and here you can see there was previous support uh which i mean there was a previous resistance 18888 which was created and on the thursday you would see here we made a low of 18837 we talked about that when nifty opened gap down we gave this target around 18000 
eight, I think eighteen thousand eight fifty to eight thirty something. We gave the target at the opening, so that was a graceful target. Even on the expiry day, it was very easy to uh, go there, right? So now let's understand what is happening with Elliott Wave. So we discussed all these charts uh, that Nifty is moving in three three waves in previous in our previous videos like this nifty is moving this is what we discussed and it looks to be happening in that way if it would have gone above 18 uh, 20500 then this chart would have become invalid we talked about that right so this was a chart where we mentioned that this analysis invalidation level is 20555 nifty made a high of 20222 right let's check the next chart uh, so this is the chart that I want to discuss that Nifty is may not be still done with the drop. So either it will consolidate or start to make another low. So this is Nifty's future chart, by the way. I have not created it on Nifty's cash charts or yeah, I'll, I'll show you the difference. So this is Nifty's cash chart, if you can see here. So this particular high of a B wave is 18, 000, uh, 19,849. However, this is lower than this number. Okay, so we cannot we cannot label this as a C wave in that case, right? So that's the mistake. Now uh, that's the problem here. So what I'll have to do is here, I'll have to name this as wave one and two, this as one and two, and this could be three wave completed here, and this could be fourth wave as an expanded flat correction. And then we'll have a fifth wave, right? And another fourth wave, right? right? Uh, so this will be a larger fourth wave and then another fifth wave. So like this, we can reach below 18,500, which is not uh, far away now. And uh, we should see that soon. That's what I'm assuming. Apart from that, what can go wrong, right? So what Nifty can do is it can gap down, go here, do a little bit of time pass. Then maybe it might create a triangle and then we might already be in fourth wave of larger degree. Once that is completed, we'll make one more low just near 18,500 maybe, and then we'll shoot higher. So this is what I'm considering with the Nifty's future chart. Here you can clearly see the difference on future chart. This high was not broken. Okay. And so I'm considering this as wave one, two, right? Then internally smaller wave one, two, three, four, fourth has an expanded flat correction. Year two was a zigzag. And then another low somewhere near these levels, these are future levels, by the way, 18,742, 18,665. It'll be a bit hard to understand and correlate these two charts, but there is no other option. You can see uh, the structure, same structure, uh, which is there in future is present in a Sensex as well. Here it didn't make that top, right? This is not the top. So this is wave one and two. So it may it, it failed to make a top by a few points, right? So this is wave one and two that I'm considering even in Sensex year one, two, right? And then third, fourth, and another low, and then the larger consolidation as a triangle or a flat or a zigzag, right? Here it will happen and another low will be taken, uh, will be made on the downside. So this is what it looks like even SGX Nifty, if I told you all of these charts uh, suggest that the wave that completed here did not bridge this high as it is shown in a cash uh, cash uh, nifty right so this is one two again internally one two then three four for you one more low probably breaking this like it will be very hard to trade this one okay so what i will look for in the next session is if nifty let's say nifty opens gap down right so nifty opens gap down make some candle like this and then I don't want to trade immediately. Even if I have carried the position, I'll wait. And in next couple of minutes, maybe by 10, 15, if we get this low broken, then again, it will be fully bearish trade and it can likely be break this low as well, right? That possibility will be open. So if this is something that is happens, then Nifty will be below uh, 13 EMA as well, right? In that case, if it opens a gap down, if you can see SGX Nifty already started to retrace, but there is very less correlation between SGX Nifty or Gift Nifty and Nifty 50 Cash. So whatever it happens, if it opens gap down on Monday, I will look for first 15 minute candles, low broke, low break, 
and then we'll initiate a fresh short position and we will hold it hold it likely uh, likely till the end of the day and uh, we'll trail the stop loss if the move starts to materialize and break this low if this low is broken i'll be aggressively uh, ag aggressively trailing my stop loss because uh, here there is no good support as well on the nifty i'll go back i'll go back here so here you see there are multiple support areas like uh, 18780 right or something 17 uh, 18780 or 700 levels should be washed out for so there it might take support and again start to give the bounce so yeah if it breaks the low i have to be aggressive to close my positions and i will wait for first 15 minutes low to be broken a few more points if you can see here when i plotted uh, fibonacci on these two points i get 0.3 to fibonacci as 19,159. so that's exactly where nifty has came so it is at exact point where from where it could face a rejection right so so that's why i still believe that this is third of third wave and then we'll have a fourth wave third wave of completion and then fourth wave this blue line blue wave and then fifth wave so we will watch out that in the next week uh, hope you understand and enjoy the analysis do hit like to support our channel thanks for watching bye bye